Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the second episode of Building the Wizarding World in LEGO. So, um, this episode will be in a different style than the first one, as it wasn't possible for me to record a useful speed build, as I like worked on one section of the display and before that was even finished I already started working on another. Um, so no speed builds today, I will only show you the additions and changes I made to this display. So let's start. So the first thing I did was to um, place the Estuarian Tower right there on these rocks right here. Um, I also added these, this viaduct right here for, to connect these two entrances. Um, now it looks kind of like the UCS Hogwarts castle, like that mini microfigure scale one. Um, right down there I added some terrain work to make everything look more interesting and detailed. And I made the Great Hall Tower taller. Right here you can see I extended it um, and made it a bit taller to make it more accurate, basically. So right next to the Astronomy Tower we can find the Hogwarts Express and the Hogwarts Station right there. It's basically the same station as in the last episode, but, but I will upgrade that one soon. Um, the rails stop right here because I need more space in this area right here because it would be too cramped in there. So right here you can see one portion of the back of my astronomy tower. Um, it's the room of requirement. It's basically be behind behind the rocks that you can see from the outside. Um, it's consist it consists of two of the new sets, which I combined and modified. You can see on the right right there you can see the basic chimney which is included in the set, and on the left the my modified version of it. I include the bookshelf from the students back in there, and I added these dark tan plates. Um, I don't know how they call them, but they are pretty accurate to what you see in the movies. Right above the room of requirement we can find the library. Um, right here is the normal library and right here the restricted area. Um, above that we can find Slughorn's office, the Ravenclaw common room, the dormitory and the top of the Asherian Tower. So this is my new Forbidden Forest. It includes the lake, Aragog's Lair and Umbridge's Encounter. So this is the lake where Sirius gets attacked by the mentors and Harry shows off his Patronus. Um, you can see right here I added black plates beneath the 1x2 um, trans blue tiles which is surrounded by dark blue gray plates and blue plates to give like the illusion of death. Here we can see Aragog's lair. I just added some spider webs here and there. So here we can find Grub um, and Umbridge and the centaurs. Remove, remove them really quick. Um, you can see right here I added like a rope from which he escaped. And here we can find his tree. I didn't add too much, just like the normal forest stuff. So right next to the Forbidden Forest we can find the first task arena. It's basically the same as before, um, just at another spot. Um, I had the plan to plan to leave it at another spot if you watched the first episode. But that really uh, didn't really work out, so I moved it right here. Next to the first task arena, we can find the Quidditch arena. It's basically the same as before, just at another spot. Now, if we follow the path from the Quidditch arena, we can find Hagrid's hut right there. Um, I added a wooden fence right there and some details around the hut itself. Let me zoom in. Right here, here and there. So next to Hagrid's hut we can find the Whomping Willow. Um, it's at the same spot as before but I added some terrain around it and make ev made everything look more interesting and detailed. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave feedback in the comment section below as that will help me to improve the quality of my videos. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.